Uh, Sanchez doing well. How are you? Oh, wait. You said you're good. I always ask people twice how they are. Just really, I really want to make sure, you know? I just really, really want to make sure. You guys are, you guys are good, you know? Or something like that. Something along those lines. These are some long passes over here. This is going to be a massive field when I get it done, y'all. It's going to take me a while because I have to cut down. These trees up here are already cut down. But I have to cut down these trees, all these, and then all those. Yeah. It's going to take a while. But that's okay. Didn't get the pop up, but it's here. All right. This is Alma, Missouri. Alma, Missouri. Yeah. Good old Alma. We're still, we're still on Alma. We've been on Alma forever. Uh, we finally just bought land north of the train track on Tuesday. I have $3 million burning a hole in my pocket. So I had to spend money up here on land. I had to. I had to. So it was either that or we were going to buy like the grasslands over there. But I chose I chose to go north because we there's more trees to cut down. And well, wood chips on this map are, are definitely worth um, like all the money. So I wanted to wanted to go with the wood chips, you know. Yeah, to get the wood chips to be able to sell them. We got, uh, I've actually got the treks sitting up there, ready to go. Uh, I already cut down some, but uh, I'll have to get to the rest of them. I don't know when I'll do that, but at some point. I don't like, I don't particularly like doing that on stream, so I'll try to do that off stream. Maybe tonight after stream, although I got to help Pops with his phone thing. So far, I'm like 17 hours into this whole. Anyway, I'm not going to complain about it anymore, but yeah, very annoying. Very. L3FT 43 at Chirdex 100. Wood chips are only worth money if you actually remember to sell them. Fair play left. <laughs> Fair play. So the plan is to plow 21, 22... Sorry, 21, 22, and 23. We're going to make into a field. Yeah, the grass, the waterway, whatever you want to call that. Yeah, it's, it's going to go away. 100%, yeah. So. We're, I'm trying not to plow, like, all the fields together. You know, because if you really wanted to, you could probably plow from, like... North to south. Everything north of the train tracks and like everything south of the train tracks between the road, and then you could like you could have like three fields, kind of three big fields on this map. But I don't want to do that. So I think when Matt did it, he did the. I think he did have like this all the everything up north was one field, basically right? Basically, twenty four. Twenty four to like twelve. Yeah, I think he did the yeah. twenty four to twelve and field forty to nine. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like north north, of the north and south of the tracks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I remember Matt and Old Man doing that. Yeah. You betcha. So, you know, the, the whole parallax occlusion thing they came up with for this game, which it's, it is a thing, and I, I it, it, it works. Um, it's all about, like, having tree lines. So you, you don't have to load what's beyond the tree if you can't see it, right? So if we still keep some of the tree lines, I feel like the map's going to run better long term. So I'm all about that. So that's why we're trying to keep some tree lines like this one here between 28 and 1. That is an intact. I did not cut that down. Uh, here between like 18 and 22, I probably will leave some trees there. And then maybe the same thing over here, leave some trees. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, I mean... I haven't purchased that yet, but even like here between 38 and 30, I'd probably leave that tree line intact. 
we'll go ahead and just leave some tree lines on purpose. Because, you know, if you can't see beyond the tree, then is it actually there? As you're destroying crop? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely are, yeah. Yep. Like, dang, that field's just an awkward shape. Let's make it better. Let's cut down some trees and make it better. Let's go. I love it. And normally I tend to just plow all the fields together and get rid of all the trees. And, but I'm trying to maintain some of the character of this map, but like not just totally clear it, you know, but like still make it nice and make it more efficient as well. So, and so far, I think we're doing that. You know, I just, and we've been playing for 400 and something hours. We just plowed this together here at the homestead. So basically, uh, three, four, nine, ten. We just plowed that together. Like, that's our first crop planted on that field since we plowed it, I think. Yeah, it is. And it's calm. It's calm. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what the parallax occlusion stuff is, um, our, yes. And minor 79 just resubscribed for five months five great months mr minor welcome back for five great months i do appreciate it how's it going today welcome back and thanks for that reset yeah so no that's that's what they were hyping it up is like yeah if, it, if you can't see it it doesn't need to load and it makes perfect sense you know Makes perfect sense. That's why, like, Stevie is really, like, on most of his maps, you notice there's a lot of tree lines around fields and stuff. There's a method to the madness, you know? It really, really is. Yeah. At least I think it runs better if you leave some trees in. I don't know. At least I think it does. This, uh, this truck, eh, he's not falling behind, I guess. That's, he'll be fine. I'm really harvesting with one truck right now. I didn't want to have any, like, stuck issues. Uh, I am on the server by myself tonight, so I wanted to run cart. And then not have trucks get stuck anywhere, so I bought a mother bin tonight. <laughs> haven't had a mother bin in a, in a while, so... Other bin it is. You betcha. Oh yeah. But yeah, no no problem there. No problem. Now, if it actually does run better, I don't know, but that's just my personal opinion that it actually does. I mean as long as I'm not in the homestead on this map, I'm still getting 60, 70 frames. Now, if I go in the homestead, that's a little bit different story. <laughs> but that's all right. The little, little, runs a little tough in the homestead, but that's pretty typical. Very typical. But yeah. It's all good. So chat, apparently y'all, y'all want to have a real like behind the scenes chat real fast. Because I got an email. I guess it was yesterday, maybe. I thought it was kind of interesting. If you guys want to have a chat, we can. If not, it's fine, too. It has to do with money. So, like, ew, right? Ew, gross. L3FT43HEARDEX100. So you're saying we need more trees for friends for the one tree? Oh, God. I don't know about that. Left, thanks for bits. Yes. Behind the plow. <laughs> Behind the plow. No, so I guess uh, Twitch has had their Partner Plus program for a while, right? And basically, the grounds were that, like, it they had like uh, Partner Plus points or something. Basically, it's like tier one subs, right? 
Actually, Armor Rider, I haven't heard from them in quite a while. Yeah, quite a while. Uh, so to to get into the Partner Plus program before you had to maintain like 350 like pain subs, so like not primes, not gifted, basically tier one subs. Um, well, apparently they came out with another level of the Partner Plus program where you only have to maintain like a hundred sub points or something. Because I'll be honest, I don't have 350 like tier one subs, right? That's not a thing that, I mean, I've had it a couple times, but that's not a thing, right? Um, so apparently I'm in the, in the first tier of the partner plus now. Um, and I don't, I guess I can talk. I, there was nothing in there said I couldn't talk about it. Uh, so instead of a 50, 50 split with Twitch on the tier one sub, it's now, uh, 60, 40 on a tier one sub, which is now it's not the 70, 30. That's the tier two. Yeah, so 60-40. I mean, it's better. It's 10% more, you know? So, it's it's better. A little bit so, more that helps the channel. Yeah. So, I thought that was kind of cool. And I didn't have to, like, apply or anything. It just, like, happened. So, yeah. No, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Ten percent more added Puma. Wow. Wow. That just means I can buy more cosmic brownies. That's all it means, Jen. Speaking of those. Ryan, we'll catch you later, man. Have a good one. I'm joking about cosmic brownies. I haven't had those in forever. More lemonade, there you go. But yeah, I just thought it was kinda cool that like I, don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. So I don't know what that means, like dollar amount, which I wouldn't tell you guys that because that's just awkward, you know. But a couple more bucks in my pocket every month, I guess. So kind of cool. My cosmic brownies will be here Monday. Illegal cosmic brownies. I do live in Missouri, by the way. That stuff you, is. You'll have here. them like tomorrow, John. I didn't order them, Trent. You order them right now, you will. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't want them. But anyway, I, I thought down, it was neat, Chad. So. That's all I got to say about that. I thought it was cool. I didn't know they were implementing a, like a lower tier to the Partner Plus thing. So what that really means, Chad, is we need 350 for three months. Oh, you're right. Because it's kind of dumb that, like, gift subs don't count towards that number, by the way. They want, like, unique users, basically, is what they want. Which I get it, but, uh... I don't know, it's kind of interesting. The whole thing is kind of interesting. Buddy. All right, so now we're harvesting on lanes for some reason. I don't. Yeah, talk, talk, talk. I'm questioning it, John. This field is so awkward. That's all it comes down to. This thing is just an awkward duck. But it will be a lot less awkward someday. A lot less anyway, because we got little, <laughs> we got two little patches to go, and this one over here, I know from a uh, contract in the past, this one here on the left takes for absolutely ever. Because it's just a lot of turning. But it's okay. So, yeah. I think that's all I had to talk about. But it's cool, you know? It's cool. Why not? Not everybody gets to be in there. So, yeah. Are meatball subs included because you're hungry? Um, I'll have to ask Dan Clancy, but uh, maybe. He's the CEO of Twitch. Yeah, him and Jeff are like homies, you know? Actually, I bet Jeff yells at him to quit losing money all the time. That's probably what happens, right? <laughs> Jeff's like, stop losing money. Dan's like, we're trying not to. We're trying to make you money, sir. 
I know you have to send your interesting shaped rocket to space. I know. Or kind of edge of space. To kind of kind of the space, but not really. I know. <laughs> oh man. You know, honestly, they could have just invent uh, invested in one of them planes, the vomit comets. You ever hear of those, Trent? I think I have before, but I haven't really like seen anything so, about it. Basically, it's just a plane that has like it's like a big plane, right? And there's like a whole area on the plane where there's like no seats or anything. It's all kind of padded. And then what they do is they go up real high and then they nosedive. Seven thirty-seven. Oh, there you zero go. A G, uh, zero G plane. And then you get yeah yeah. It's called the vomit comet. I didn't know right. the actual name of it, but I yeah. Knew, like, so, so that when you're nose diving, you're zero G, and then they pull up, and you go back up, and then you nose dive again. And that's how, like, yeah, they've trained like astronauts and stuff with that too. SpaceX did it. Yeah, yeah, they've done it for movies, and all kinds of stuff. So this uh, this mother bin is getting full, y'all. Okay, it's fifty fifty one percent right now. That's not bad, I guess. There's still three thousand bushels right now <laughs> there's three semi loads in there right now trade out the the mac out for the the super b one nah, that's fine it's all good i need more lemonade in my cup y'all my cup is empty and that's not it's it's sad very sad the simpsons did it well then if the simpsons did it then Okay. I mean, you just look for them for the uh, what's going to happen in the future. Jeff has the biggest windows. True. Does it require updates? <laughs> no, that would be Bill with the windows that requires updates. Bill, Bill Gates, you know. Yeah. All the updates, all the time. Nonstop. Thank you. Uh, do we? Oh, I don't have an update. Hey. Speaking of Windows, did you break? I, I shouldn't mention this, but on my TikTok, I've been getting a ton of ads for Microsoft Edge. Oh, now you got ads of Microsoft Edge. Yeah. I'll have them forever now. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's so annoying. I just don't care. I'm not going to use Microsoft Edge. Thanks. Appreciate your life. Bing bong. You know. Something like that. I don't know. It's kind of annoying. So, chat, who wants to come play Farm Together 2 next Tuesday? Who's picking it up? I'm going to be the only one playing that game. Uh, Farm Together 2. It's oddly addictive. All right? I swear. Same scrum use it for work. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh man. Man, oh man. I'm a sports fan, you're gonna get it. Alright. Oh, you picked up Farm Together for 12 bucks, Sean? Let's go. Nice. Oh, yeah. This is bloated. Wait, I got are you. we able to pre-order that? Uh, I think so. I don't know. I kind of keep forgetting to pull it up on my, like, on Steam. Farm. Oh, yeah. Farm together, too. Is it? They have 16. Okay, hang on. I'm looking at the store page for the first game. There's 16 DLCs for that game. You can, It's on sale, and the DLCs are $67.12 right now. Just for the DLCs. Yeah, oh. seven or got four more days, it says on Steam. Wow. That other homestead. Wow. We could. Wow. I'm kind of surprised, though. Uh, farm together two. Yeah. All right. The first I pulled up just farm together. I hope the game. I mean, it looks a lot like the first one, doesn't it? 
it, from what I've seen on stream, yeah, it looks exactly <laughs> like the it first looks one. Identical. <laughs> oh man, I don't even know how much it is. I don't know. It doesn't even say. It just says add to your wish list. It doesn't say the price. I mean, I, I added it to my wish list, but it, yeah. Uh, Chad, I don't know if I can run it. The recommended video card is a 1060 or better. Where does it say that? Scroll uh, down. 1999, according to Sean. And four gigabytes of RAM. Oh my god, I don't know if I can run this game. Yeah, I don't know either. Guys, I might have to upgrade my computer by Monday. Windows <laughs> 7? I don't have that either. Or wait. <laughs> wait, yeah, I do. <laughs> Oh uh, man, the heck is that, Tomcat? Wow, Tomcat. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Might have to download more RAM. Uh, two gigs of hard drive available. Farm together, I mean, the regular one, that's 20 bucks. Yeah. I'm guessing it's my farm together two might be also 20 bucks. Yeah, Sean, Sean says 20. Interesting. I don't know. I'll pick it up. One of these days I'll remember to, like, actually just put it on my Steam. Like, just do it. Just, just do it. Oh, on your wish list? I probably won't put it on my wish list because I had uh, Manor Lords on my wish list, and man, they emailed me about 97 times telling me, hey, it's on sale, hey, it's ready, hey, you can buy it, hey, hey, hey. I probably won't do a wish list for it because it was just annoying the other day with Manor Lords, which, no, I have not picked up Manor Lords yet. And yes, at least, I at least did for just me, see. The stuff I put on my wish list, I usually get. Yeah. It usually goes away. I did just see lightning, by the way, in that camera. And there's the thunder. <laughs> Pretty far away, yeah. It's kind of great or kind of cool to cool. watch and listen for it because you can see it. Oh, really? And then, like, a couple seconds later, you hear it. Oh. No. At least here on the farm, it's like. Oh, on the it. farm. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, in my street? Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, wait, out, when you're out and like, oh, buddy, where are we going now, combines? I don't know. When you're like out in open open uh, ground, yes. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, there's lightning. All right, well, combines there's drive where they're thunder. going. Time for lightning. Not lightning? Lemonade. Yeah. Not lightning. Yeah, so th this field, is, yeah, it's like you see, it's interesting how course play. Oh, course play is all over. Now we're going to do back and forth over here yeah and then they'll basically work from where you are to my left to where they've worked and then back to the right over on the other spot like, yeah assuming. and then they'll essentially split that and do half that and half of the yeah did i mention i put a bunch of my nugget ice in my lemonade and it's just like the coldest Perfect, most bestest lemonade of all time. Have I mentioned that yet today? Once or twice? I'm annoying, chat. I know. Did it's I mention what I might have, be having for supper? You're time? having cosmic brownies for dinner, I know. No, they're not here yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're having Casey's pizza. Oh, it's either Casey's pizza or uh, chicken nuggets on the pizzazz. All right. We had uh, we had pizza or tonight. Casey's I'm... pizza on the pizzas. Nobody's been grocery shopping at my house in a while, so there's like nothing to make. So, uh, Pops came home from work and he's like, "What are you gonna do for dinner?" And I was like, "I don't know." And he's like, "I'm thinking about panda." And I was like, "How about how about pizza?" And he's like, "All right, whatever." So I mean, like, panda pizza. sounds pretty good. Yeah, but I've been wanting pizza for like a while, so. I got me some pizza. Uh, Gotta love that big New Yorker from uh, Pizza Hut. I'm all about it. Big New Yorker with pepperoni. Ugh. Can't go wrong. 
literally can't go wrong. Just land. Yeah. I it was rotating clockwise, was it really? Um, I did see something about that tornado Ooh, that like records flash. were set or something, yeah. Now spaghetti hike looks good. They have a barbecue pulled pork pizza, do they really? Interesting. Uh, I did see it though, and it was it was pretty crazy that uh, that tornado the other day. Yeah. That one's still going down in Texas right now. Uh, it's down to radar indicated for the warning, and it I mean, there's one warning now instead of like two. Yeah, it doesn't look nearly as impressive as it did earlier. And uh, the one that's farther south of that, it's gone away. Yeah. Yeah, we were looking at the radar earlier, and I was looking down at Texas, and I was like, man, something's going on there. And sure enough, we pulled up the like the live feed from one of the storm chasers, and there was a beautiful tornado on the ground out in the middle of the field. So, beautiful tornado. But it has been, it has been a very active weather pattern here lately. And it's not going to stop anytime soon, I don't think. No, it's probably like what I've I think I've heard is it's gonna get yeah. pretty cold again. Well, that trough's just hanging out doing its thing. And then we'll get warm like we've been for the week. Yeah. yeah. You're saying cold again? I heard somebody talk Damn. about. Damn. Oh, there's my phone. I dropped it. Uh, no, it's just hot here. I mean, 60 for lows, but still 80s. Basically, so we got a chance of rain Saturday, 50%. Monday, 50%. Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, and the rain just cools everything down, too. Right. Oh, yeah. All right. Go. Oh. Winter, summer, winter, summer. Nah, man, it's and now it's just straight summer. gas. Straight summer. Over here. I, I, I miss spring. <laughs> we had half, half a day of spring. Half a day. About right. Wow. Very strong and rare occurrence. Yep. Yep. Yeah, normally you don't see down like in the center. It was like a hurricane almost. Is what it kind of looked like on radar. Like a really small hurricane. And then we got hurricane season coming up. I've heard some grumblings about it. It's supposed to be like a busier than average hurricane season too. So be lots of lots of weather talk all summer I have a feeling I have that feeling as long as we're not talking about river flooding in Missouri I don't whatever I do not want to go through another flood no thank you way too much work <laughs> the only good thing about flood prep is everybody show oh you know who your friends are because all your friends show up to help the same. Yeah. All your friends show up when you need help. So. Yeah. Although, if we did have another flood scare, I don't know where we would go with any of our stuff. Because the place we went last time has sold. Um, and it did not sell to an individual. It sold to a company, we'll say. And uh, I... Yeah, I don't know where we would go with our stuff. Because we couldn't go back to that farm, so. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure Zach's family, they have some high ground at some of their houses. I'm sure they would let us park stuff outside. And I don't want to put, like, my Alice B outside if I don't have to. 
I'd bring that bad boy home and park it in Casey's garage if you'd let me. <laughs> That's what I'd do with the B. You betcha. I'd drive it. I wouldn't drive it home. I would not drive it home. That's way too far. I would trailer it to home. <laughs> Uh, way too far that'd be. Although it does like fly, it boot scoots and buggies. At least it feels really fast. It's not, but it feels fast. Ten miles an hour in that tractor is kind of fast, you know. But yeah, my garage. Um, actually, shot if we cleaned up, if we got rid of like ninety nine percent of the stuff out in the front part of my garage. We could put two Alice Chalmers in here, no problem. But there's a bunch of junk out there, so not going to work. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine that's just the background? There's just an Alice Chalmers sitting like a foot behind me. <laughs> What's that behind you, my, my Alice Chalmers tractor? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> that would be amazing, Sean. That would be amazing. <laughs> 290. Wow. Pretty busy, pretty busy April, huh? That's crazy. 290. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, left. I am done with Fallout. The TV series, if anybody's curious, I watched it. The Amazon Prime. The show. I, I watched five episodes the first night or something. And then finished it uh, Tuesday after stream. So, yep. I'm done. You betcha. Bear's on episode eight. That's the last one, Bear. Let's go. Let's go. I really enjoyed it, Bear. I, I have never seen anything fall out before. Like, I knew what a pit boy was, kind of the little thing they wear on their wrist, because, like, my buddy got one with one of the Fallout games. Like, my buddy Casey has one that came out with one of the games years ago. So, like, I, I knew what that kind of was, but, like, I didn't know anything else about Fallout at all. And, uh,. Yeah, I, I, I've been, I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. It's there's a lot of storytelling going on, which you expect, but like I wasn't expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. It, it was just good though. I enjoyed it. Yeah, and and not being a fan of the Fallout series necessarily, or not seeing any of the Fallout, like I don't think that affected like you know enjoying the show if that makes sense so yeah the one line that stuck with me uh bear is uh is it your thumb or mine that's the one line that has stuck with me from that series so far is it your thumb or mine Fallout 4 is on your Mount Rushmore. Wow. Covering the backstory without overdoing it. Yeah. I gotcha. All I know is like... I don't want to give anything away. Oh yeah, since you actually finished it now? Yeah. There's, there's a lot of things that, like, 
I guess not knowing anything about Fallout, I was just like, oh, no, you didn't. You know, like, kind of like moments like that. It's like, no way. No, this is where this is going. Oh, my good. You know, like that kind of. Yeah, like curveballs, you know. Or you kind of think it's going and then it goes a different way. And, and I don't know about anybody else, but the dude without a nose... Do y'all get Deadpool vibes from him, or is it just me? Because for some reason, I get, like, Deadpool the character, like, vibes out of him all day long. Like, it, it could be... It, it could be Deadpool in an alternate universe, you know? Like, 100%. I'm just saying. Ah, uh, that's cool. Okay. I got spare. Cool. No, dude, he, he could be Deadpool. I'm telling you. He's an anti hero? Exactly. Yeah. Hey, for the record chat, it is downpouring outside right now. Yep, they're going to film in October, Sean. Start. Played the character well. Nailed it. Well, and ha have you seen the videos of them putting, like, his no. costume on? I have not, no. But that's it's good, too. All... What? I bet that's good. The that's amount funny. of time, well, granted, it was a fast-forward yeah. thing, but yeah. the amount of stuff they had to put on him. Okay, I just said it was raining hard. No, it's raining way harder now. Yeah, because you said something. My goodness. Boring out there, chat. I wonder what that bulldozer guy's gonna do. Yeah. He's supposed to get done with this uh, waterway project, I think, in four days. Oh, wow. You got oh, he... a Xbox and Game Pass? Nice. GG's. Rain time. Rain drops are falling on my head. Actually, this is one field. <laughs> uh, 21, 22, and 23 are going to be merged into one eventually. I this, this field was already planted in peas when I bought it on Tuesday, so I was like, you know what? Throw a little fertilizer, a little bit of, well, throw a lot of fertilizer and a lot of lime, and we'll, we might as well get the money out of the peas, you know? Um, I have cut down some of the trees. I still have a long way to go, so I, I won't get it. I'm not going to worry about the trees tonight. But uh, yes, we are gonna merge. Is there another P field. Uh, I do thirteen. I do have another P field down here south, one of our own fields. Oh, there are other. Yeah, seventeen, eighteen, eleven. Are all planted in peace as well. But after this, we're heading down to uh, twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty is where where I'm gonna be heading with the gun mines. I don't think I need the mother bin down there, but as well. Actually, I probably will, because it's like right by our homestead. I would kind of like to just keep that mother bin like north, north of the track. Yeah. Probably not a bad idea, because there's really nowhere to put it in the homestead, so. Oh, and then like days like today when it's basically just you can kind of just limit your Ruckage. Your trucks sound like down to one, so you don't have to worry about as much or or possibility of collision. Yeah, and he's just zipping along doing his thing. These other trucks are setting up the biogas plant, waiting for a fast time, and then actually, I could probably send this truck around the milk truck. Sitting here waiting for milk. If you guys didn't see it, by the way, I, I graveled the, the whole yard on Tuesday and it looks so much better in my opinion so much better it's so much, much cleaner. money it wasn't that much money you know like that'd be like so much money IRL oh it'd be outrageous IRL <laughs> yeah. outrageous IRL yes I cannot do a console let's play. I don't do let's plays anymore, and I do not play on console, so no, I can't do that. Oh, that's some high quality lemonade. 
It's really cold. Oh, it's cold. That's the best part of that ice maker and the worst part all at the same time. Ice is cold, chat. Heard it here first. Big Al, what's going on? How are you? Ice is cold, y'all. Okay. Remember that in life. You know, you know, you know, Jack remembers that. Okay. Ice is cold. And there was room for Jack on the board, just saying. <laughs> Still a lot about that, I know. Big Al, how's it going? Best base game map for 22. That would be uh, ba, 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 Elm Creek. Love me some Elm Creek. All right, Big L. All right. Oh, I keep forgetting to ask Dad about that chat. There's something on Saturday that we might be doing, chat. I might miss part of the stream on Saturday, by the way. Try it. I don't know if we're, if we're doing it, but I'm not sure. Not sure yet. Console and PC let's play. Well, the console would be different because like mods are different and stuff. I wouldn't have GPS. So therefore I really wouldn't want it. I wouldn't have course play and auto drive. I don't, I wouldn't know how to play the game anymore. Okay. Oh, on a console. Yeah. If you took away my course play, auto drive, a GPS. Oh yeah. And our mods. And our good mods. I, I wouldn't even know how to play the game anymore, chat. Just saying. You know, that's always the, the worst part of when a new, new game comes out. Don't have any of the fun mods for at least a couple weeks, you know? Which is also a good thing because it teaches you how to, you know, play the game that you have and 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 stuff and Actually you know. Actually, have to drive in, in yeah. cab yeah. and use and your, follow the little marker on yeah. the hood tracker, yeah. follow the rope corn. Yep. And and you know, I I do recommend when people are new to this game, they don't download any mods. Play the game, learn the game. You don't need mods at first. You know, you can always get mods later. At least that's my my opinion. Why don't I do Let's Plays anymore? This has been coming up a lot lately. People have been asking this one a lot lately, which is fine. Um, Mostly, I just didn't want to do them anymore. My heart really wasn't in it anymore. You know, I think that's pretty much what I said the other day. It's just I didn't want to. Um, I didn't enjoy uh making less plays anymore so i just i just stopped yeah exactly i'm writer exactly uh there is cross-platform mods however the good mods the fun mods the ones that i'm talking about your course play auto drive gps they're not cross-platform they're custom scripts and console will never have them so in your detailed mods yeah yeah so yeah sure i could use the cross-platform mods but not where the well, good why mods. would you why would you want to do that that's not where the good mods are <laughs> just say it and trust me, I'm the first one to say that console needs GPS, okay? And I don't even play on the console. But console needs it. Console also needs better um, AI, hired worker, you know, drive the truck from point A to point B. Like, they said they were going to work on that. I don't know if they've ever updated it, to be honest. That was a promise when that first came out, that they were going to continue to work on it and update it and make it better. Maybe it works better on, like, the stock, you know, the in-game maps. I don't know. I haven't tried it in forever. But last time I tried using it, it was, uh, it was I pretty. I wouldn't want to try it. Yeah. I'd try it. I would try it. 
That would hurt. Well, yeah. It would definitely hurt. But yeah. Uh, farm me, boy, if you're interested in joining, come in our team so we can get to know us off stream is how people are able to join us. Uh, all the information for team speak can be found in Discord. Exclamation boy Discord. It works great now when you play on PS5, does it really? Interesting. Appreciate the follow. Welcome, welcome. And Leonard, hello. Leonard. Hello. What's up? Nada. What's up with you? <laughs> how's how's Captain? I just opened the game. <laughs> I'm gonna need. I mean, I'm gonna need you to take your judgments elsewhere. <laughs> I'm not judging nothing, sir. I played it all day today. <laughs> Best B boy. <laughs> all right, big Al. So. Why do you think you might lose your map tomorrow? Uh, I'm having a power crisis, basically. Well, just I'm just don't have a power crisis. Well, you see, I'm kind of out of coal in a way, kind of, not really, but kind of. Going all left from last night, Leonard. And uh, um, I I I need to go nu nuclear. Because I'm burning through so much coal, it's it's killing me, right? Not left. to mention the exhaust as well. Left was going through it last night. Poor yeah. Guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, just be better. Well, you see, the problem is I, I done switched everything over to hydrogen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And at least the way I'm getting hydrogen, it is very power uh uh, expensive, right? It takes Is a it? ton of electricity. Does it? Yes. And when 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 I need hydrogen and everything spools up, I'm drawing like a hundred and something power. I forget what it is, like 180 or something. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I normally draw like 20 or 30, so. Limit your hydrogen. That's what Production. my vehicles run on, forehead. How much uh, do you need to physically run? I don't know, but if I don't have any uh, hydrogen, I'd have no vehicles running. And then my map's really gone. So. The electrolyzers, yes. There's the, there it is, way over there, okay. Yeah, it gets, uh, it gets, it's very expensive. Yeah, right here. Electric plus, yeah. I think you're just overreacting. Not overreacting. I think you are. There we go. Use oil to get hydrogen? I could. The electrolyzers work. They just, uh. They just, they just hurt. <laughs> They just hurt, that's all. Burning through coal too much as it is, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, now we gotta make the 20 minute drive back down south, chat. Go. We're done up north for now. But it's all good. We're fine, we'll figure it out. The, the other thing that's going to help, although they're pretty, pretty thirsty, but is getting like all big excavators and only having like so many of them right now. I, I have way too many excavators. Like I have so many excavators that the, uh, dirt processing or the ore sorters, they can't keep up. So it's a whole thing. You missed the last place on you. You know, there's thousands of, of videos on YouTube. You can go back and watch. I'm just, I'm not making let's plays anymore. So yeah. You towed a smart car. You could have fit two of them on the. 
That's funny. That's funny right there. I don't care who you are. Them smart cars, they're tiny. I hope you didn't have to get in the thing to, like, you know, do anything. Because I don't know if I could get back out of one. I've come mine from North. You realize to buy two combines over a million dollars, right? Sports fan, like, unless you're going to, you know, give me some money and farm some, I'm, I'll just drive them. It's only a regular size map, you know that, right? It's not a 4X, so. It's not that big of a map. It's fine. Even on a 4X, I would drive them. Because that's a lot of money. Lots of money. So I just finished upgrading like all my vehicles to the like the yellow trucks, you know? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's game changing, right? My goodness. Like I no went from truck. being like absolutely extremely totally busy to like half my fleet's just sitting there like, hey, what do you want me to do? You had to drive it at the auction gotcha. Uh, I'm not going to answer the question about the Let's Plays. I've already answered it like three times the last 20 minutes, so. I'm just, I don't do it anymore, all right? I've said. Right, I plugged that in. Got a high compression three-cylinder engine, wow. Interesting. You know, I've driven a lawnmower before with a three-cylinder diesel. that count? I love that machine too. It's, oh man. When you'd get on it, you know how the diesels kind of bark when they're under load, you know? So like when you would turn and get on it and like heavy grass, that machine would bark at you. Oh. I just loved it. I loved it so much. It was only a demo though, and sadly I didn't get to keep it. It was very sad. But I really liked it. It was an awesome machine. Well, I'm cool with the one we have now. I like it. Thank you, Leonard. I got you. I don't mind once, but like, you know. Yeah. A hundred times. Oh, let's place. <laughs> I love that Trent can't even see what you did and he knows. I'll fix that. Oh, you're going to give Trent mods so he can see? Okay. No, I was going to remove his lock power. Oh. JK. JK. Just about a joke. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of talk power. Mm -hmm. I think we need to get on Tom about checking his version of TeamSpeak. I think it was Tom. It might have been no, Black speaking. Cat. Somebody at the end of Saturday's stream when I said bye, they said bye, and dude, it squeaked so bad. I don't, I don't remember if Black Cat was here at the end of the stream. I know Tom was. It was one. It was. It was so loud, and I was like, "Hmm." That it was at the end of the stream. Yeah, I edited. Yeah, it was. I, I finally edited, like yesterday, the uh, Saturday stream. Sean, what do you mean by a live let's play? You mean like kind of how I did my achievement hunting, like a single play? Like, I, I don't, what would be the difference? We sit here and talk about nothing for hours. That's kind of what my let's plays were. You know what I mean? Are you just want me to like stream for 20 minutes and then just like upload that? Because I don't know what you mean by that. So I'm, I'm here for ideas, but uh, I don't know quite what you mean on that one. Oh, yeah. How much range do you, uh, do you get there, uh, Leonard? Like yesterday. So, my little... rain gauge, uh -huh. my rain gauge said a quarter. Oh, okay. But it looked like more than that. I'm sure it was coming down sideways. Yeah. Gotcha. I saw, there I was... saw the farmer, you know. Yeah. There yeah. was, uh, two different storms that were at one point like on like head-on collision oh. crash courses towards town and i was like great you're like oh no here we go again yeah no kidding 
I heard y'all talking about the, uh, like the 18,000 footer. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that thing looked wild. That was cool. What are some tips for Farm Sim 22 on console? Uh, soybeans. Lots of soybeans. Lots of soybeans. Did you see earlier, Leonard, when we were looking at radar and I was like, yeah, there's some mornings down in Texas. And I was, I clicked on it and I was like, on the velocity, that looks like there could be something there. And then we opened the storm chaser and there was a beautiful tornado there. I, uh, it was I didn't see it. I heard it. Yeah. Beautiful. No mods or money cheats. Uh, soybeans. Bill Plice. Dude. Dude. John, isn't that what, what basically this like this map is? You know what I mean? Like it's pretty much what I do here, right? But th I think that might have been Tom. That did that squeak. Yeah, I think it was Tom. Uh, you know what, old man? I saw uh, Trent posted that in Discord, but I did not actually look at it. Um, I need to check it out. Trent, is it any good? Uh, you're, you're, you're talking to the guy that Oh, wait. It. That was Jeff that posted it, right? Uh, I, I posted it, but old man's the one that played with it. Okay, you haven't messed with it, Trent? No, and according to old man, you need... A flat map, at least for now, to place the track down. Oh, I can see that. Okay, uh, old man, I'd, I'd I'd like to look into it at some point. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. I just don't know how the the whole yard thing would work out. I don't know. I'd be it'd be cool. Uh, most planter, most farmers. I know plenty of farmers that are planting corn. Lots of farmers are still planting corn. Yeah, like every farmer I know is still planting corn. Not just they didn't just all switch to soybeans. Lots of corn being planted this year. A little hard, I gotcha. Interesting. All right. Uh, letter, do you have permission to? That's the funny thing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, 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 I was like, who be DMing me on the Discord right now? It's the picture of the smart car. Wow, you totally could have put two smart cars on your tow truck, Mr. Miner. <laughs> Uh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That's great. I didn't. I mean, I'm, I I don't have any experience around smart cars. I've just seen them around town. Trent, did I tell you I saw a cyber truck in town? Uh. -uh. Yeah, it was like two weeks ago. Now, Dad and I were like downtown, kind of our town, and whatnot. there was one coming at us, and I just go, "Holy <laughs> cyber truck!" What do you think about the uh, refrigerator? Wait, what? What do you think about the refrigerator? It was ugly, but it was cool. It, interesting. The tractor looked cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was shocked to see one. I was like, who in our town bought a cyber truck? But somebody did. I guess. Left needs it to stop raining so he can get out of his truck. Oh, uh, left. Where in the country are you right now? I guess maybe shouldn't say that, but you know, whatever. Chat, we need to uh, we need to swing in the homestead for a little petrol. No bus. What's well, that? A diesel, bro? You'll make it home. Yeah, I'll make it home, but maybe if we cut left street, it'll stop raining. All right. Let me go try. <laughs> oh, man. Be there in like 15 minutes, Sean. I gotta I have to come by down there, you know? 
I mean, I could teleport, but I'm not, not going to do that. If nothing else, this is giving the truck a minute to, uh, uh, giving the semi truck a minute to catch up and all, all the, the peas in from up here, which is okay. So yeah. Does fertilizer help your yield and farm some? Yes, a lot. Sure does. Like, a lot, a lot. Mads, what's going on? How are you? Happen? Dad, I'm just watching this rain, man. It is raining. St. Louis is getting hit pretty, pretty aggressively right now. Raining, which kind of sucks because dad, or, well, I didn't really do much. Dad did a bunch of uh, weeding in our asparagus yesterday. We were hoping we could get by like a couple days without rain so it wouldn't reroot like all the, you know, all the weeds. But it's all good. It happens. Our asparagus has turned very weedy. We've had had a lot of rain lately and a lot of farm temperatures, so you're gonna have a lot of weeds in your asparagus when you, you know, unless you're there every day, you know, take care of it, which we're not. So it's fine. It'll buff. So, Chad, I've talked about this person before, but yesterday on the way home. We, uh, we, a lot of times we, uh, we'll take asparagus at least a couple times, maybe, maybe once or twice a week, uh, to this old lady that we know in town. Uh, dad knew her husband forever, uh, has known their, known their son forever, I think is how they initially, like, met, whatever, right? This lady is 99 years old, and it's just, I don't know, man, it's, it's kind of cool. So we stopped yesterday and took her took her some asparagus. So yeah. Pop up storm storm in Boston thought the windows were gonna cave in. That's not good. Off and on all day, big Al, really. Big Al, y'all, y'all need to quit sending us all that water down on the river, okay? I told y'all the other day it was gonna jump, right? Pops and I went down to the river yesterday. Good lord, there's some water moving through that bad boy. Actually, I have a little video. Here, let me let me fire this video into Discord. I was waiting to do it when I was streaming. Cause why not? Wait, Tom, Tom's been listening. Hi, Tom. <laughs> She's seen a lot of changes in her 99 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Tom, three, three, five, six. Yep. Yeah, you know, speaking of the 99 year old, I would love to sit down and just like interview her. And just talk about like, you know, what were things like when she was a kid or wouldn't that be fascinating chat? And she's like the nicest person you'll ever meet too. All right here. I have a 10 second video. I don't know what kind of audio. It's probably just me breathing or something awkward. I didn't watch the video back before I posted it. Oops. Probably should have. You can just hear the air conditioning of the truck. Never mind. But look at that water rolling, y'all. And that is a 10 second video in Discord. Wild. And note how much debris is in that water too. All the all the, all the sticks. Yeah. The rain's getting heavier for left. Where's lefty? Just say just he heavy rain. Got you left. Left's got my stream open on this phone and Radar Omega. Let's go left. 
<laughs> Let's go left. <laughs> uh, that's funny. You sent me a screenshot. Yeah, it is Big Al, yeah. It is rolling, man. And that's just 10 seconds. We sat down there for a little bit yesterday, and just the whole time I kept going, God, that's flying. Jeez. Crazy. But, you know, the river went from roughly 12 feet to 27 from, like, Sunday to Wednesday, give or take. Monday to Wednesday, something like that. So, no, it was Sunday. Yeah, Sunday to Wednesday. So, Big Al, y'all need to quit getting so much rain over there, okay? Because that was that big rainstorm y'all had the other night. <laughs> y'all need to, y'all need to, y'all need to quit getting them big rainstorms, okay? Thanks. I know you can control it, so. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, that's going to take a second. Um, get this empty and send. we can send this back down on uh, auto drive. That's what we can do. And we're going to be using the field 30. Field 30, wait. There we go. Oh, yeah, that, that river is cooking and booking, man. That's all I know. It was wild. Absolutely wild. Right. Yeah, I'm out. Look at that. We got ourselves a full combine. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, left, yes. Yes, it is. How's it going? Welcome in, what's poppin'? Going on. Oh, man. Love it, chat. Gotta love it. I'm gonna say. Yeah, these, these big rainstorms need to settle down for a little while. Let the rivers take a little break, you know, drain drain downstream a little bit. But yeah, that would be nice. It would be nice. Left, I think it's funny, man. You're good. I think it's so chat this next in-game year we need to make about 200 need to make 200 silage round bales this next time we made 150 this last time I want to make 200 this next time okay so it'll probably be Saturday when we do that yeah yeah think about how the water All that Nebraska rain, yeah. Uh, Watson, well, doesn't the river like really big when it gets down that way though, right? By far. Uh, we're taking chaff and wrapping it, Jacob, to make silage bales for the for the moo moos. Yeah. <laughs> Warm ups have been nice. You're gonna miss the rain, yeah. I know that's just the way it is. You know, the, the farmers aren't happy. It's either too much rain, not enough rain, too much of this, not enough of that. Nobody's ever actually happy, chat. There's still almost a truckload up here. Okay. Okay. Where's my. There it is. My auger wagon. It's zooming. Zoom, 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 zoom. Hey, there's a bridge there, bud. I 
I got you, Austin. I got you. I got you. I don't. I don't watch the river stages below like Cape Girardeau. I got an uncle that lives down there, so I kind of watch there, and then I'll watch around St. Louis. And some a lot of times I'll watch like north of St. Louis or west. So you got like the Missouri, the the Mississippi, obviously, and the Illinois, and try to keep an eye on all three of them. So yeah. And sometimes it's fun to look at like creeks and river ga or creek like gauges because they'll they're they'll go wild they'll be at like a foot and then go to like 22 feet in like you know an hour so it's a good time pizza we'll catch you later bro have a good night so that's always fun to watch though do greenhouses make good money uh they can yeah Oh. <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom. Tom, you're good. I just happened to think of it. That's all. Because I just edited yesterday and I was like, I don't even remember that happening on Saturday. I don't remember hearing it. But yeah, do I fish? No. No, I've never been fishing. I know, it's like my man card away. I know. I've never, never. Professor, I'm doing well. How are you? Welcome in. Yeah, you are left. I don't you're the only one that it seems to work for, I think, so. As far as I know. Although there was a uh there was something and I don't it could have just been like a weird microphone thing. Where you said something and somewhere I was that Indian. I forget what it was now. And it was like a hundred times louder than me. It didn't like squeak and peak and stuff. It was just like... That could have just been like a weird microphone thing. I don't know. It was uh, kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, so Jacob, we tried switching to TeamSpeak 5 because that whole like squeaking issue that a lot of us were experiencing or that stream could hear a lot of. Uh, so we, a bunch of us switched to five, uh, but we were still having the issue. So finally left figured out if we go to three, five, six, I think it is. Yeah, it seems to speak three, five, six. It doesn't have the squeaking issue or if it does, it's very rare. Every once in a blue moon, it'll happen. But the problem with running an old, old version of TeamSpeak is every time you open it, it's like, hey, do you want to update? And you just like, have to hit no every time. And it takes a while to break the habit of hitting yes to update. But see, you don't seem to squeak ever, Jacob. That squeaking thing, for some reason, only affected certain people. So I don't... It was weird. Very... Very weird. Decided you had enough work? Well, that's good, Professor. Thanks for spending your chill time with us. Appreciate it. We are currently harvesting peas. Uh, I just got done harvesting up in field 22. Uh, in fact, my truck is still running. I grabbed the last load from up there right now. So I'm going to wait a second, let that other combine catch up just a little bit before I empty this one. Never get prompted up that you must be on the latest one then. Three six. I don't know what the latest one is though. I don't know. I have no idea. But like I would squeak really bad. Trent would squeak really bad. Who else? Tom occasionally. Black cat? Black cat, I think, would. But it's like I don't think I've ever heard like Leonard squeak. Or bear. I don't think bear ever did either. Or left. Like, there's certain people that did. And it was just weird. Favorite thing to do in Farms in 22 is probably drive the grain cart. Yep. Need to eat more cheese. I'm a, you know, if a doctor told me to eat more cheese, I would say yes, sir. I love cheese. Good cheddar cheese is pretty good. Yeah, I don't care what kind it is. 
A good smoked Gouda? I don't care. Bring it on. As long as it's not like too too of, too much of a stinky cheese, you know. Not about that sometimes. Uh, thirty. Okay. Let's grab the last of the the last of the beans from up here, or the peas. Sorry, the peas. And then we'll shut the Massey down. We'll probably leave the Massey up here, to be honest. I might send it. I could send it up to like the sawmill. Maybe I'll send it to the sawmill. That can be our storage for the... Yeah. For the mother bin. These are peas. Sorry. Peas, beans. He named his Rottweilers after cheeses. What's the correct way of eating string cheese? I feel like if you just bite string cheese, you might be like a psychopath, right? Like if you don't peel it apart, like you might be on an FBI watch list, right? Oh, Jacob have fun with inventory. Dang. Yeah, if you just like eat, like just take a bite out of it. Oh, wait, wait, chat. I've been known to do that in the past. Uh oh. <laughs> he was eating it like a slim gym. Slim gym. All right. Jail time. I guess I need to go to jail then. I can't tell you the last time I had a string cheese, though. I'll be honest. It's been a minute. Seven weeks later, inventory number two. Dang, Jacob. That sounds awful. Come on, little Massey. You can do it. So, chat, we are not going to take this. Uh... You know what, though? I probably should take this home because I got that huge field of corn to harvest. Although most likely you'll be using like field four. Yeah, I don't need it at home. Don't need it. This can sit up here. This is for north of the tracks, okay? Basically, north of the tracks. The Massey will go home, just the uh the bin won't. Uh, Saturday, right when I said goodbye to you all in TeamSpeak, Tom. I think. Nabak just subscribed. Uh, Nabak, thanks for the subscription. Do you appreciate it? Make sure you're using your prime on me. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to leave that there, chat. That was so graceful and eloquent. <laughs> so beautiful. At least, I, I Tom, I, it might not have been you but i know i heard your voice in there but i'm trying to think back if black cat was around too because he would be the other one that i would i'm not sure what team speak he's on like, i know what team speak trent's on i know he was there pretty sure left was there but yeah i mean it's it's not a big deal tom you know it's not a big deal it's just one of those things. I made a mental note of it. I'm like, hey, I just need to ask Tom. That was literally all it was. Do you see it? Yeah, it was right at the end of Saturday's uh, stream. Right, Trent, you found it, didn't you? Pretty sure Trent found it a little while ago. Which one? The squeak. That was Saturday, right? Yeah, that was Saturday. Okay. Yeah. It was right as you hit like the your mute button. Yeah. Uh, professor, that's not good. Not good at all. Dang. Unfortunate. 
Go, go, gadget. Shot deer, deer track. Although I don't have a truck to empty into right now. Only if I had a mother bin, y'all. Wait, where's that truck going? Wait a minute. Truck? Then you going back up north? Where's he going? Oh, he's going into town to go repair. Oh. Ah, he's driving to the repair. Okay. I was like, I don't. Where, why is he? He's going to get stuck. I'll have to help. I'll just do it. He's going to get stuck anyway. I was so confused. Where's this guy going right now? I need him at the field, bro. Bro. Pretty much, yeah. I think he was coming home to get a sandwich at 8 o'clock in the morning. Peanut butter jelly sandwich, you know. Yeah. He's broke, lost the plug. Oh, wow. Nothing like $7,000 in repairs. All okay. right. At least you're not repainting it. <laughs> I don't know, Tom. <laughs> I think Tom did that, though, didn't he? Didn't you, Tom? Holding 1,100 bushels right now. I'm not full. Uh, uh, I was talking There's about it. on the side of the cart, see. Oh, that's a good idea. Hang on. I'll zoom in. I mean, if it's a uh, 2,000, that's the biggest capacity. Oh, it's a 13. Oh. Uh, Professor, thank you. Hold on, another <laughs> 700 bushel. Uh, we'll have to change it. Um, Professor, I'll be doing that again on Saturday, probably. <laughs> I need to make about 200 bales. Uh, the carn isn't quite ready, but sometime Saturday, I need to make 200. Uh, the only penalty to not repairing is that you lose a little bit of horsepower. But being that we're using auto drive, it wants to, in their settings, their settings I could change. But the way auto drive set up, it wants to go repair itself. So, 1300 base. Ew. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't know who it actually was, Tom. Yeah. All right, we'll, uh, we'll drive this to the homestead real quick and I'll change it. How about that? Because why not? Waiting for that truck anyway. Although that truck is here. Right up the road. Right up the road. All right, let's, uh, return. Oh, that's kind of cool, Professor. I didn't know that was a mod. Who am I kidding? There's a mod for everything. There's a mod to make backup beepers quieter. I haven't installed it yet, but it's a mod. It was requested that I install it, so. Oh, so like, Trent, do you even know we bought a Volvo loader on here? Uh, so, uh, thanks. Uh, he's talking about that. The screech. Okay. I saw it, yeah. Okay. I didn't know. It's a little payloader. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. It's smaller than the 